you know, one of the things that, that I've been hearing about, it's not so much of an issue in Illinois, but in other states is, uh, you know, after an accident, um, you know, someone may have been involved in, a, uh, in an accident today, and sure enough, tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, their phone starts ringing, and it's not from an insurance company, but it's from, uh, it's hard to believe, it's, it's, it's from uh, chiropractors in their area who are actually calling them, sort of inquiring to see if they need medical attention after their accident. Um, I mean, I'm just shocked that that's a, a legal um, thing to do um, from a from an ethical, but from an ethical standpoint, it just seems like there's a a lot of a lot of whole can of worms there. Um, is this something that you're seeing? And and if so, you know, how do you you know suggest people react to it? Well, Jonathan, uh, that's very true. I have a plenty of clients that tell me that I just got a call from someone who says, uh, you know, the insurance company is going to want you to do this uh, and get examined, and you can come and see uh, Dr. So-and-so. We'll send a cab out for you. won't cost you anything. And that is a very aggressive chiropractor who's hired some service. You do not want to do that ever. Uh, you just don't because the first thing is even even if this is a good chiropractor and not somebody who's going to run up some gigantic bill, try to glom onto your med pay out of your own policy of insurance so that you can't use it for anything else. Just 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 think about if you've hired that doctor and you've been with him for three months, you haven't seen anybody else your case gets into the litigation process in part because you saw a chiropractor for the first three or four months and they say uh, Mr. Client in a deposition the defense attorney says how did you get to chiropractor so-and-so well he called me up a service called me well that goes over like a lead balloon and that just just that just took the credibility right out of your case so uh, I'm not I'm not against chiropractors. I, I have one I go to myself. Thirty dollars in and out the door. He gives me a snap, crackle, and a pop, and I'm usually in pretty good shape. I got a low back issue myself, and and, and in some cases, if that's you know the medical profession will will often refer you down the road to a chiropractor as an alternative treatment. But to go to somebody that's calling you up out of the blue and you can count on one, two, three, four chiropractors calling you, and it's also a little bit sad to say, you can count, count about five, six, seven lawyers writing letters in the state of Ohio uh, because we're, they're allowed to do that. Uh, and, you know, they might be okay lawyers, uh, but, you know, you never want to uh, go to a chiropractor that calls you up and I'm not going to say that you never want to go to a lawyer that sends you a letter, but you certainly don't want to hire a lawyer on the basis of a letter. Just like you don't, you definitely don't want to go to the car. There's enough good chiropractors. If your case is, is a soft tissue injury, and it's mild, maybe that does merit a chiropractor, you can find a good chiropractor. Attorneys who've done this for many, many years know the good guys that are reasonable and are trying to get these patients better and in short order if they don't they refer them off to orthopedic specialists and trying to just build a system so uh, yeah it's 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 a real issue and uh, there's some guys that just you, you want to stay away from and especially the the uh, chiropractors that are calling you on the phone